Hello, my name is Olivia Balsinger, and I'm here at the Tree Casa Resort in San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua, here with the general manager, Alon Codera, who is going to tell us a little bit about where we are. Hey, so thank you for inviting me to my your pleasure. beautiful property. I just want to tell our readership a little bit about uh, this very unique property in a stunning area of Nicaragua. So, I guess first and foremost, can you just tell me a little bit about how the idea of Tree Casa came into fruition and how it's grown and what the what you kind of see for the future with it? Okay, this is an idea of a Canadian entrepreneur that visited Nicaragua for the first time and fell in love with the people and fell in love with the with the land. And he decided to invest money because he can see a lot of potential on, on this part of the country. And the idea is to offer to all the traveler a uh, different uh, vacational option, which provides to the people a, a connection with nature, a connection with their uh, loved ones, and also a way to find themselves from their like, a, a day a day basis. Absolutely. I mean, I feel like I found myself here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of the unique aspects of this resort really that differentiate it from other properties in the area? The original idea is that we never burn as a, as a business. We burn more like a, with the idea to create a community, with the idea mm -hmm. to offer something meaningful to the people. Mm -hmm. uh, usually you can travel uh, all of the world, you can be in Asia, you can be on uh, South America, you can be on different different parts of the world, but basically you're buying a service. Mm -hmm. The idea with us is that you, more than buying a service, you are uh, looking for a community, you're looking more for a relationship with the people, relationship with the culture, a relationship with basically um, a whole country. Normally, Nicaragua is known, known like one of the most developed uh, tourism uh, destinations, but we are known because the people, basically uh, people buy people and that's why uh, every year we are receiving more and more visitors. Well, I mean, it's, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about San Juan del Sur as a community and how you're uh, kind of integrating yourself in the community and, and what, uh, what that means? San Juan del Sur is a destination that was basically developed or became famous more for surfing. We have a really large a community of surfers that now they are a partially retired and they decide to have this place because the weather, because the waves, because the people, because the food. And we have more and more people coming and visiting us and also the idea of creating this property is because we have a lot of friends in town and all of these people are looking for a place to live, they're looking for a place where they can in interact between and have a, have a community life, have a, a really nice restaurant, a healthy restaurant where you can practice yoga, where you can do some horseback riding, where you can hike and you can have all the things that you normally don't have back home. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. And what do you foresee in the future of the resort? What kind of initiatives are you guys planning going forward? The resort uh, actually will look into place the, the resort uh, as number one in San Juan del Sur and, and all the Pacific area of the country. Uh, not cause the money, it's more cause we want to offer something different to the people. You are not buying a service here, you are becoming part of a community, you are becoming part of a, a lifestyle. And the idea is that uh, we want to offer to the to the people different, different, different options and attractions. So you will be enticed to come uh, longer. You you will be enticed to come uh, more and more mm -hmm. till you realize that you're living here more than <laughs> in New York and UK. I'm close to that. <laughs> That's um, I can see why people would do that. So. Uh, thank you again for taking the time to chat with me, um, and uh, thank you for inviting me to such a stunning property. We are super happy that you decided to visit us, and we are like really thankful that you decided to give you and give us this opportunity to discover a little piece of Nicaragua. Thank you. <laughs>